what's going on? Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Isra Ramos and I will be discussing the moral theory of Cantonese and its application to two moral questions, specifically uh, questions about uh, whether or not consumers are morally obligated to stop purchasing products whose manufacture causes harm and uh, what's called the perspective of Cantonese on using animals for food and research. So let's go over an overview, like what is it's, what is Cantonism? So to begin, let's briefly go over what it entails. So it's a moral theory developed by a guy called Emmanuel Kant, or Kant, Kant um, who emphasized like the importance of moral duty and the inherent value of every human being. Cantonism, Cantonism revolves around this idea of categorical imperative, which basically is that moral actions must be universalizable and free from contradiction. Cantonism promotes treating every human being as an end in themselves, ever, uh, ever a means to an end. Um, now let's go over this, the first proposition. Um, so. Are consumers morally obligated to stop purchasing products whose manufacturer causes harm? From a Cantonese perspective, consumers have a moral duty to consider the consequences of their actions. Cantonese supports the idea that consumers should not support products that cause harm. Why is that? Um, so, Kant's categorical imperative: if I like, if everyone were to purchase products that cause harm, then it would be a contradiction, pretty much as it undermines the well-being of others. And by participating in the purchase of such products, consumers would be treating the individuals affected by the harm merely as a means to their own ends. So, so from a Cantonese standpoint, consumers are indeed morally obligated to stop purchasing products that cause harm, or whose manufacturer cause harm. And Proposition 2, um, what does Cantonism say about animals for food and research? Um, Cantonism recognizes the inherent value of every human being, but does that doesn't think that extends to the same moral consideration to animals, right? Uh, or that same moral con consideration doesn't extend to animals, as they lack like rationality and like moral agency. But um, Kant, Kant emphasized that cruelty to animals can lead to like desensitization, like, basically like the degradation of moral character. Because like I'm, I'm basically a monster if I just go around just killing, just nonsensically, with no remorse. Um, applying Kant's principles, or Kant's principles, to of treating individuals as ends in themselves, animals should not be treated as mere means to human ends, right? So while Cantonism allows for like the use of animals for food and research, it places importance on treating them with like respect and avoiding like unnecessary cruelty. So Cantonian ethics would like encourage us to consider the well being of animals and like make choices that don't involve needless suffering or exploitation. So in conclusion, um, Cantonese provides us with a valuable framework for examining moral obligations in various scenarios. From the perspective of Cantonese, consumers are like, morally obligated to stop purchasing products whose manufacture cause harm, as it aligns with the universability principle of the categorical imperative. So while Cantonese allows for the use of animals for, f for food and research, it, it emphasizes the importance of treating them with respect and avoid cruelty. And by exploring these propositions through the lens of Cantonian ethics, we gain we gain in, I think we gain insights into the moral into the moral implications of our of our actions and the responsibilities we have towards others. You know, both non both human and non, you know. And I'm so sorry, I'm tired. Uh, and thank you. Uh, once again I appreciate your time and participation and remember I think moral philosophy provides us with valuable tools for navigating complex moral dilemmas. Uh yeah.